This is Diana Lenska. And I, Michael Leo Sentai. And this is Indie View, where you, the filmmaker, and your film are the star. Now today, the two films that we will be reviewing, one is a full-length feature film that's done in both a combination of black and white and color. It is a dark comedy, and it's from a first-time female filmmaker, Lisa Mkhitaryan, if I'm getting her That's name correctly. That's how I would say it. Mkhitaryan, yes. who is both director, writer, and producer. So we will show you the trailer right now of Spent, and then we will come back for our rating and review. Here is the trailer for Spent. It's almost over now. The doctor gave him a day. I mean, hours, really. Well, be sure to tell him that I said, good riddance. He's dead already, isn't he, Dr. Rogers? Your husband is going to live, Mrs. Schumacher. <laughs> you have to tell him you insist on taking care of the bills for a while. Tell him that you don't want anything to aggravate that miraculous brain of his. Yesterday, I was cleared of a massive brain tumor. Poof! It was gone. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Congratulations. Thank you. We have a rat. Her? And that rat needs to go. You know what you have to do. Look, if he finds out that we spent any of his nest egg, it'll kill him. Either way, he dies. Everything was on track then, and everything is on track now. <laughs> I'm not taking money from you. It's not from me, it's from my dad. Think of it as a gift. And there will be a lot more soon. How much money is at stake here? Well, from what Lonnie's told me, an easy couple million. <coughs> oh my! Hmm? <gasps> Evelyn? Is everything okay down there? You're sure Herbert's favorite pizza is pineapple sausage and feta cheese? That's what Lonnie said. Oh, no, 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 no. There must be some mistake. We had half a million dollars in this account. Oh my god, oh my god. Fortunately, I had just enough savings that we could make it. Savings? What's that? Wait. Ah! I am a walking, talking, 4th of July miracle. I'm gonna live for a whole lot of years. Oh, it is my lucky day. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Do you know how beautiful you are? I am. You don't need to wear this wig. I, I don't. What wig? How did you? Well, um, Michael. I think this is a little bit uh, different from um, many of the type of films that are submitted to uh, film festivals. Definitely, definitely. And what I have um, discovered with film festivals, I do judging for quite a few festivals, you don't get comedies that often, any type of comedy. So when a comedy does come along, it actually is like a breath of fresh air. And the fact that this is a first-time female um, filmmaker, I have to give her a lot of credit. She had a very good budget for this, a $70,000 yes. budget. It's an a hour and 40-minute film, and um, it has a period feel to it. She filmed it to have a feel, I would say, probably of uh, like films from the 1960s. I think comedies. so, I think I would yes. say the 1960s. Yes. So it has that kind of feel to it. And... Um, what was your uh, initial impressions in? I'll let you start, Michael. Sure. As you said with the costumes, I really enjoyed the costumes. It really mm -hmm. set the tone for the film. Mm -hmm. And there's something about the, the 50s, 60s that has a lightheartedness. Mm -hmm. And I think that really came across in this film. Yes. I was very surprised with it being, as you said, a first-time filmmaker. First time. Very well for the first time yes. out. And a sure. full-length feature. 
Yes. Full and feature. Right. A lot of filmmakers start out with something maybe, you know, 10 minutes at most mm -hmm. to start. And even that's a lot of work to begin with. Yes. So a full length feature film, first time, yes. and all the work of the costumes. Mm -hmm. And she well was done. director, writer, and producer right. of to, this film. To do all of those things and do them so well, first time. Yes. Um, I liked the concept of the story. Mm -hmm. I'll give a little bit of the story, but again, we don't want to give too much away no. because uh, it ruins it for the audience. If you don't know who a filmmaker is, a director, or the stars, you are going to be drawn to see a film based on what the story is about. And this is a very clever story where this is a family where the husband father is in the hospital. Everyone is expecting him to die. He's been a miser. He has kept money from his family and they're thinking finally here is their chance. He's going to die. They're going to have... Looking forward to it. Looking forward <laughs> to getting all these assets and then the fun begins. I'm not going to say no. anymore. No. This film will be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival. It's one of those really rare type of films that you can go to a festival, you're seeing the documentaries, you're seeing the drama, and here's that moment of lightheartedness that you can just sit back, have a good laugh, and appreciate a female filmmaker who most women filmmakers do not get the appreciation that they really deserve That's in this true. industry. So, uh, Lisa, I want to say this is an excellent film for your first film. I enjoyed the story, the cinematography, everything was very well done, audio, music, and I gave it a rating for your first film of 8.7. Wow, I gave it a 9, a little higher. Mm -hmm. I was just very impressed. Yes. It was, it was great. Great film. Well, now the next film we're going to be seeing, uh, a, a brief teaser trailer, it's only barely 11 minutes, but it's based on a true story. True story. And it's called Riding with Sunshine. Here is the teaser trailer for Riding with Sunshine. Yes? It's me, Vicky. Uh, we don't want any Vickys here. Uh, very funny, Mario. I thought it was. <laughs> Come in, I just gotta put my sneakers on. Who should drive? I don't care. You know what? I don't know. You know what? You drive. All right. <laughs> Hello, officer. Was I doing something wrong? All right, Michael. Um, what I found interesting with this was how the concept of the, the title, Riding with Sunshine, was displayed by the use of Black and white with yes. the film, and the character who yes. represents sunshine right. is shown in a brilliant golden uh, color of actually what she's wearing mm -hmm. and in the light. And the symbolism of that to what the story mm -hmm. is uh, revealing here. Um, now this uh, is from also a first time female filmmaker. Her very first film, her name is uh, Christian Comer. She's from Nantucket, New York. And this film will be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival. Now, what, what did you think from the beginning of the film and then when you realized where it was going? And again, we don't want to give, don't give too, what, much. too much away, but I'm quite sure you probably was not expecting where the film was going to be moving to. I definitely wasn't. At first, I thought the, the entire film was very lighthearted, mm -hmm. just by the tone of it showing her all in basically yellow and the rest mm -hmm. of everything black and white which I was really impressed with that. Yes. I would like to know how to do that effect, <laughs> you know, especially for a first-time filmmaker. First time, and female. And female, of Film, course. Female filmmaker. Of course. Yeah, I don't want to give away too much, but the ending is not exactly what you would think. Mm -hmm. So you have to watch the film yes. for sure. And again, this is based on a true story that actually happened. It deals with a subject matter that we're hearing a lot of in the news today. Yes. I usually sometimes with the festival, or with the screening, I try to be very careful to accepting a film that may deal with an issue, unless it's done in a way that I feel it is being fair from all 
size. Respectful. Because you don't sure. always know. But because of the way this film, and actually the little twist on the message at the end yeah. of why what happened happened mm -hmm. and how it happened. Yeah, it's very well explained. I've, yes. Yes. Which you don't often see in a film. Sure. So, um, Christian, this is a phenomenal short. It was an incredible message. And I gave this um, film short uh, an 8.9. And uh, you, Michael? I gave it a 9. So we're pretty close Almost there. Almost close as usual. Yes. Great first time film. Well, again, um, if you want to contact us, if you want to send a film to be reviewed on IndieView, if you're another film festival and you would like to have uh, your winning films or official selections uh, reviewed and trailer screened on IndieView, please contact us. Send us your emails to IndieViewTV at gmail.com. Well, this has been another uh, great episode of IndieView, and I am Diana Lenska. And I am Michael Leo Sentai. And this was IndieView. Take care.